WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update here with uh, me, which is David White, at uh, DFNN. Uh, and uh, what do we have today? Well, of course, uh, a lot of uh, consternation over the banks on uh, or through last week. Uh, right now, we're up about half a percent on the spies. Uh, the S&P is about the same, up uh, 21. Uh, Dow up 131. And, of course, they pushed and washed all the weak hands out this morning. Uh, options expiration is on Friday. Uh, we do have a setup here, at least from this morning, that sets up a possibility. I'd say there's a 75% uh, possibility we get a retest of this morning's low. Uh, but options are actually fairly bullish into Friday where we could see in the uh, mid 3900s for expiration. Now, one of the uh, problems uh, that we do have uh, is certainly the, uh, uh, the issue of iceberg risk. And most people, you know, they think about risk a little bit in the market. What am I going to lose? Uh, but you probably should think about what the big guys on Wall Street think. And that is, they're pretty sure that whatever they see is only 10% of the truth. Just like an iceberg, you only see the top 10%. The rest is hidden below the waterline. So what do you do? Well, if you see a roach, you expect that there's 10 more. Doesn't mean that there are, but for every one you see, you think that there are 10 more. And the market is fairly good at uh, shooting first and asking questions later. Sometimes when you get into the right uh, area, you can get a pretty good and sweet deal uh, on stocks. Now, that deal may be like, uh, you know, some nice, uh, I don't know, spaghetti or something that will sit on the shelf for six months. It might be a cantaloupe that rots before the end of the week. So do you have to kind of pick and choose, but there may be some very good deals out here, at least for the week. Sell where you can, not when you have to. That's what the way Wall Street works. We'll be back in a minute.